Sean here, Spots Music, SpotsMusic.com. Just here to tell you about restringing your guitar. I know it sounds simple, but there are so many awesome tools available to make it easier for you to do. So without further ado, I'll dive into some of those tools that we can use. So first and foremost, if you're dealing with an acoustic, something to pull the bridge pins out makes your life a whole lot easier. So we got a couple things here. First and foremost, my favorite, the Music Nomad Grip Puller. This guy, literally, you just hook it in, pull it out. I like the way that it's uh, gripped out for you to be able to get a good tug on it and without hopefully breaking your bridge pins in half, which happens periodically, especially if they're older. Secondly, Dunlop makes these. They're a string winder as well as a peg puller. You can see there. Again, you just clip it and pull it. Um, I think the Music Nomad probably works a little bit better just because of its design, but this is dual function, so you get a little bit out of that. Okay, so you got your strings off. Excellent. One thing that you should do while you have your strings off is A, tighten up anything that needs tightened up. It's an easy to miss step, but as you play, all these little things come undone over time. So again, another this is another Music Nomad tool I like to use. This is one of their octopus tools. It's got a whole bunch of different size heads for you to do all the different parts of your guitar, as well as changeable tips for different uh, other applications along your way. But you can just tighten these down. Another tool that Music Nomad makes is a spanner. This is probably one of my favorite tools that I use on a regular basis. You can use it, it looks like a little wrench to tighten up these little spots up here. Basically anything that's hard to tighten up on a guitar, this little spanner does a great job of getting to it, gripping on it, and getting it tightened down in a likable fashion. All right, so another easy to miss step whenever you're changing your strings is cleaning those hard to reach places. Underneath the strings happens to be a common place that people acquire a lot of dirt but don't have easy access to on a regular basis. So I recommend this step, take a minute, clean underneath your strings, get those hard to reach places. Again, I'm using Music Nomad guitar detailing spray, a detailing cloth here, microfiber, so I don't scratch her all up. All this filth off this mid 80s, I would say, made in Japan Squire. Give it some of that pretty white shine back that it once had. Happy with that. All right, so actually putting the string on now. The string feeds through the guitar body differently in a lot of different guitars, so I'm not gonna waste my time explaining how to do that because it's very well likely different on yours. Usually not a hard process to figure out. Put the string through, catch on the ball, hold it in place. One thing I notice with a lot of guitars, people bring them in, they get worked on, they have so many wraps around the post, so many wraps. You don't need more than a couple. Any more than a couple, you're gonna run into a lot more issues with staying in tune. That's usually about the biggest problem. They just don't stay in tune well whenever you have a lot of wraps around the post. So I aim every time to get about two wraps around. And to achieve this, I had a method I've used my entire life. Put my hand at about the fifth fret. It might vary based on hand size. It typically works pretty well for most people, I think. Put my hand at about the fifth fret, let the string run over top, and that's about how much length of string I need to get two wraps around the post. We'll go with the uh, Dunlop string winder here, just to demonstrate that guy. If I'm doing this by hand, I have carpal tunnel in about five to seven minutes easily. <laughs> so anything that makes this winding process a little bit easier and faster is definitely beneficial in the long run, especially if you have a lot of these to do or change your strings often. You don't want to, you don't want to monkey around too much. All right. Get the string up to some tension there. I'm gonna clip this now. I always, 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 always recommend the average person do not clip your strings until you are done stringing your guitar because you cannot put string back. Once it's cut, it's cut. I know where I'm at, so I'm gonna cut it now. If you're a, kind of a beginner to the string process, definitely wait till you, the end and you're happy before you cut. All right, so let's see what's actually happening up top here by the post. I got the string through the right distance I need it. I bent it a little bit to keep it from moving around and pulling out on me the whole time. And I'm just gonna do this guy by hand this time to make it easy to see what's happening. So, whenever I am wrapping this around, I am going to get it to go over top of the string once. And as I come back around, 
I'm going to push it below that string that's sticking out. So I get one wrap above, then I'll get one wrap below, and the tension between those two wraps will really help the string from sliding around and falling out of tune. And lastly, my favorite, the granddaddy of all tools, the Ernie Ball Power Peg. These guys, we carry them in the shop. This is the newer model. Mine is quite old and I've gotten a lot of miles out of it. Use this thing daily, it makes my life better. I know that not every guy in the world is changing a dozen strings a day or whatever. It certainly makes the guitar player who's got a dozen guitars sitting in his bedroom, makes string changing day a lot easier. Or if you're just lazy like me. Look how easy that is. Perfect. All right, one more string, finish it up. Got the hand dexterity of an elephant. Make sure all the strings are seated on the saddle well and boom. Oh, but wait a minute, did you forget to clean underneath your strings or did you forget to tighten down anything? Well, there is a solution to that. My favorite thing that I use back here, you can use it. It's basically like a makeup brush and some kind of fuzzy spatula. But the combination of these allows you to get right under the strings, those hard to reach spaces. One of my favorite things to use. Works like a champ. And one last thing, if you forgot to tighten anything down, the spanner still reaches while the strings are attached. So another awesome feature of the spanner. One, completely restrung guitar. If there were any tips that you thought were useful or any tips that you have, you can drop them in the comments below. That is all my basic tips for restringing your guitar. If you have any questions or any comments, list them down below. Hit that like, share, subscribe button. Anything that you wanna see in the future, just hit us up. Thanks for sticking around and watching. Have a great day.